don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. 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 And I thought, it's time I'm letting you go. This time I know it for sure. I just thought I should let you know. Covered. Was gonna patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard. If this were a rolling rock, it would gather no moss. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Boy, am I in a fantastic mood out here at Liar River, my favorite campground in the entire world still, and still open. I cannot stop smiling here. Uh, this pump only pumps five gallons per minute, so it'll take a while. It'll t it might take a couple hours with that utility pump running, but... I really didn't know if it was going to work. It says right in the directions it can only operate three feet higher than the pump and only 25 feet away. I'm running 75 feet of hose uphill about 10 feet. I uh, used my ladder to get down there because there's a little bit of The water isn't very high right now. And the pump's just, just going to town down there. That is awesome. Liar River, man. They have made some improvements here at the campground, if you can believe that. Last year, or the year before when I was here, it seemed like they were getting ready to shut this place down, and I was a little concerned. I did end up getting my corner spot, but it didn't start that way. I had to park in another campground that wasn't even waterfront. The first night, these folks left. I scooted in here, filmed my intro this morning with the fire going, and uh, I am, I'm starting to feel really complete here with Miranda. I love that river. Let me put my barley pop down and we'll go for a little walk here. Today was apparently leaving day. 10's open, nine is open. This is where I camped and I had to come in and miss that big rock right there and those there. And uh, I'll flash a picture up and show you how close a tight fit that was to even get the slides out once I was in, but we made it work. Look at this crazy roots of this tree. That is sure strange, man. Remember when they shut the water down here at Liar River? <laughs> this is one of three new water outlets. Drinking water at Liar River. Thank you for that. Three of these dispersed around the campground. And while I was there last night, I actually hooked the hose right there, topped off my tank from my campsite. But this, Jeez, I guess I could have filled a pool with, I don't know if you're supposed to, because right now all I'm doing is borrowing water from the river, and then it's gonna go right down the river when I leave in a few days. Or actually, I'm staying here six nights. But see, that's the cool, people ask me, Eric, do you ever get any time off? How do you get a vacation if you're uploading a video every other day? Well, you get a little ahead. Uh, work a little harder to get that cushion, and now I have videos scheduled for the next few days that you will have already seen before this, obviously, and although I don't have service here, I can get on the e-bike and I can go about three miles down the road to get service. That way I can uh, upload some pictures to Instagram and reply to people for a couple hours a, a, a day. What we lost here at Liar River is two things. We lost the dumpster. They used to have garbage facilities. And we lost the big Liar River wood sign that was here, replaced by power. They have power at the camp host site over here. The camp host is not here, <laughs> but they have power and water available for the camp host if they were to get here. Although it's open year round, June 15th to October 15th, you got to register and put your slip in here. Here's one of the other water fill stations. 
It costs a little bit of money to maintain these so that they can say it's drinking water, it's approved, it's tested. So that the Discover Pass, essentially, the $35 that we pay annually helps to go. And I like seeing this, renovations, power at, at a camp post site so that somebody can come down here. I have even parked uh, Yoda here in this really, really tiny spot next to the camp post. Nice, like, you can just step in the water over at my side. I gotta climb down a ladder. But look at that water. Jeez, it's just so pretty. As far as ADA accessibility, I got some friends, uh, Don and Joyce and uh, Renee and Monique. They, they do have one campsite that has a ramp all the way to the bathrooms over there. Nice little ramp. And then you can park right here and camp. And it's reserved for disabled placard holders in their window till 6 p.m. every night. If no one's here by 6 p.m., anybody can have it for one night, but you gotta leave the next day or move to a different site. But this site has extra perks because you have your own little deck over the Liar River. And they lowered it right here so you can, you can fish from right here. Look at that view. It's not a bad site if it's available after six, actually, to be honest, but I uh, just wanna let you guys know that's available here. There's so much beauty out here. It's incredible, incredibly peaceful. I'm starving. I'm really starving. You know, a decade or more ago, when I used to tent camp out here in my uh, Ford Explorer, I'd gotten one of those disposable barbecue grills meant to just be used once and thrown away. I think like four or five dollars. And I kept that in the Explorer and just kind of used that. Well, I went to Walmart and found a, it's a really cheap expert grill. I don't know, it's Walmart's version. It's 14 bucks at Walmart. You gotta assemble it, it's easy enough. So I'm gonna throw some of these briquettes in there and get this guy ready for some burgers. Woo! Get those all toasty, make sure they're lit. These are self-lighting, but still. Just make sure there. All right. And I'm going with the fat burgers. These are the one third pound beef patties from Walmart. They're about six bucks for six of them. So it's a dollar a burger and that's a, that's a lot of meat. So. That's what she said. <laughs> Keep an eye on our briquettes here. I skipped breakfast this morning because I was doing so much stuff. So I'm hangry. Just about ready here. Still some flame there. Give it another couple minutes here. We'll spread those out. Plop on the bergs. Alrighty, let them go. All right, well, I think these bad boys are just about ready for some cheese. Let's flip them one more time. I do like my burgers a little more well done than other people, but that's just a personal preference. One guy there, one guy there, and oh yeah, how's our pool doing over here? It's still pretty slow. We're almost up to the first rung there. And yeah, it's not perfectly level, <laughs> but I found the absolute most level spot on this entire campsite. So it's gonna work. All right, oh, we're looking good now. I could just put both of these burgers onto one <laughs> and save the bread, but somehow it just seems better with two burgers, right? <laughs> All right, let's try it. It's probably disgusting. Um, no, it's good. <laughs> it's delicious. You wouldn't like it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. How are we looking here now? Where's our fill line over there? Looks like we just need a few more inches. That's what she said. <laughs> oh and then it'll be pool time. Oh yeah. Keeping the fire alive here next to the pool. It might look close, but I've got like four feet from the actual fire to this. So the side of the pool is not even warm to the touch. Man, that's starting to look inviting. I don't have a pool strainer. I'm gonna get stuff in there, but oh well. Oh, I love it. Anyway, guaranteed more from this place. Sun's about to set. Never went in the pool yet, so uh, Jax and I will see you in a couple days, okay? All right, I'll get one out to you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Love you all. Yeah! I feel like I really don't want to go outside right now. That's a big spider of Black Widow on my back camera. Good night! No thank you, you can die now. 
Jeez.